What's going on today, guys? Uh, or I should say tonight, because it is 4 o'clock in the morning. It's pretty late. Um, I can't really sleep right now. Um, you know, I've just been kind of watching movies and, uh, you know, and I was just kind of, you know, doing the same thing I've been doing, you know, update, update, update. And a topic kind of came to me today with antibiotics because a lot of people are like, why don't you do antibiotics? And the reason I'm doing that is I don't really know what antibiotics you take for Q fever and nor I do not want to find out. And I'm going to tell you guys why, because I have read, I've, I've read close to over a thousand articles, maybe not even that, maybe probably like 900, 800 articles and people, you know, and I'm doing this just because of Lyme disease, really, because a lot of people, I have, I have to use Lyme disease because I can't find that many people for Q fever. Now, when I was kind of researching and looking into it, everybody started with antibiotics because that's what their doctor said. That's what anybody in America will tell you, go get antibiotics. And, you know, my mom came to me and we know somebody who has Q fever and they are on antibiotics. And she said, why don't you go on it? Like, she's trying to convince me. We have a Rife machine and she's trying to convince me to um, have a right or go on antibiotics. And I, it kind of ticks me off because, you know, I, I, things are going great, by the way. Nothing wrong is going on. It's it's close to 4 o'clock in the morning, and I've had a great day today. I've had minimal herxing and so on and so forth. But I, you know, I've read with antibiotics, they cause liver damage over time. I don't know if, I don't really know much about antibiotics. I'm not an expert, but the thing that I really know is, is that they they work to a, to an extent because most people that I've read, and like I said, I'm not experienced. My brother is. He took him for 13 months of his life at 11 years old. Well, he would have been 12, but 13 months of antibiotics. And, you know, and it, they didn't work. They did not, um, they don't, they don't bring you back to life. They don't give you that smile back, you know, and or they don't give you life back. Let's just put it that way. And the reason I'm kind of jittering about this topic is I don't know much about it. I'm just kind of rambling about it because it just seems like a topic that later on, if somebody wanted to research, like, why are you not on antibiotics? But I think it's a good question. But, you know, and just just the fact that people go on antibiotics and, and a lot of people don't know about the Rife machine. They don't know about the frequency generators. They don't know about it. So it's kind of impossible to, you know, kind of have it out there. But me, myself, using the Rife machine, I've already noticed that my chest pain that I had almost every single night for about 10 months, because a lot of new symptoms came on and off every single day. and Not every day, but like every once a month, two to three months, I would, you know, for example... Uh, my throat would really feel like it was closing up. And that was something that was really bad because I hated it. That was like the worst point ever. But I did smoke at the time. Um, and it also causes a dry cough. It also, it just causes a lot of problems, okay? Anything respiratory, I was having problems with. And I don't think an inhaler would have worked. I think the real thing that I did to get better at the start, because I'm 50-50. I'm I'm, I was 50-50 when I started the rifing. And the real thing that helped me was working out every day. I think that was the main reason that I kind of got back on on the horse was working out every day. You know, I quit smoking. I quit eating meat. I'm basically a vegetarian. And, you know, a lot of people don't have that kind of diet. They go to McDonald's or they go, you know, and I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why people would choose that because they're feeling so good. And I think it's just because my immune system so dropped. But I even think when I go back, even when I – I think when I do get better, I don't think I'll ever, ever – go out and eat out ever. I don't think I ever will. I, I love cooking. Like that's just one of my things that I love to do is I love having fresh herbs um, and just making good pasta and just, just making a lot of good stuff. But you know, anyways, back to the antibiotics. They just, they, they seem like they subside because people will take them for six to six months to a year and they'll be fine. But once, you know, and I've read, once you've cut it off, like if you stop for a week, your old symptoms come back. And that's the problem because I'm just not – that does not seem fun. That does not seem fun going back to my original symptoms. I want to progress. I want to kill this thing and this is how I'm going to do it. And 
you know, and this is a risk. This is a gamble. But I honestly think I will – I think this is paying off because my chest doesn't hurt anymore. My sinuses – I've said this. These are the things that have improved are my sinuses have been unre- just amazing. I've been able to breathe. I, my lung capacity feels a lot better. And, you know, there's just so many things. And I even feel my anxiety later at night, like my stress levels, they're subsiding. And it, it's it's just an amazing thing. It's an amazing machine. It, it honestly is just so – I can't even describe it, you know. It's just one of those things, and, I, and I'm just going to keep on doing it. I'm going to keep making these videos, you know, even though not that many people watch. But once we get a sharing thing going, and, you know, this is going to be this is gonna be a fun thing to do. And, you know, it's kind of boring right now because I'm still in my house as I've went on about. And that's okay because I know I'm going to get better. And, you know, a lot of people aren't going to really know that until I get better. So, but anyways, guys, I leave that with you guys today. Sorry there wasn't much to really talk about. I did rife today and, you know, just kind of, you know, not really much to talk about today other than I've been having really good days. So, it, and I'm still rifing every day in the improvement. So, I think when things get a little tough, like when the Herxon gets a little tough, just take a day break, you know, and that's just something that I'll keep doing. So, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope I can be of any help any way. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I will answer my comments as soon as I can. So anyways, guys, have a good day or night. Bye.